Hi, this is Pat from the Crystal Lake Public Library, and today on Afternoon Craft Corner, I will be showing you how to create paper mache bowls. Supplies needed to create your bowl. You'll need newspaper strips. You'll need some kind of form. You can use a balloon that you blow up and put your strips on that or you can use a bowl that you've um, put foil or plastic wrap on. You may need um, cooking spray or oil or Vaseline to use as a release uh, on the bowls. You will need a bowl and whisk or spoon or fork to uh, put your paste in and your paste will be created by using flour and water in a one to uh, one to two ratio. One part flour to two parts water, or maybe a little bit less. You may want um, sandpaper when your item is created and then dried. There'll be rough edges. You may want to smooth some of that out. When you're creating your item, you may want to have a heavy, container that you can place on there while you're you're placing your strips on it. You may also need a place to put your um, creation while it's drying and this helps uh, to vent it. Once your item is created and dried then you'll want to decorate it and for that you can use acrylic paint. I did a lot of metallics with this one, but I started off usually with a white base. Um, then you can decorate it however you choose. You can also use things like tissue paper or um, stamping, all different things you can use. Uh, and then once you're finished with that, you'll want to seal it and you can use various items. Mod Podge works great or um, a spray on. Let's get started. First, we will create um, the paste. And for that, I have a third of a cup of flour and two thirds cup water. I'm gonna pour most of that in, but not quite all. Then mix until you have a smooth batter. It'll be a little bit like pancake batter or a really heavy cream. As you use this, it will start to thicken just naturally. But you want to start out with it pretty smooth. And that looks fine. Now you'll have your container for this. I just, I've already covered it with foil and used my vegetable oil spray on it. And here are my newspaper strips. When you take news, uh, take the newspaper, do not cut it, rip it, and just rip it uh, into strips. It will lay better if you do that. So now we will just place some strips in here. And I'll warn you, this is a messy, process. You'll notice I'm wearing an apron. Um, I would do this in your kitchen or even outside if the weather allows. I'm also going to place this on top of here. It helps when I'm placing it and because things will extend over. So you'll pull out a strip and notice it's just full of all this. So then what you'll do is you'll take two fingers and you'll just push, push it down so that the extra goes back in there. You may need to do a little bit on the other end. And then you'll take it and you will lay it on your form. And you will continue to do this 
until you have enough strips layered on there that you feel you have a form. And this can take a little while as you build up on it. A few tips though, as you're placing this on here, you can overlap here because you can cut that off later. Also, you don't want to constantly be putting it into crossing the center because if you do, it starts to raise up and then your bowl will not rest flat. It'll keep tipping. So you don't want to do that. So at some point, I'm going to take a strip and maybe place it this way. And if I have a lot left over, I can just rip that. I don't have to, but I can. And just place that someplace else. And you're just gonna be building this up and building this up, trying to keep things as flat as you can. It will, it will uh, rise up in sections. That's just part of the character of it. And you're gonna to continue to do that and continue to do that and continue to do that until you feel you have enough layered there. Then you're going to set it aside on your, your drying rack. Once you have let your bowl dry for a minimum of 12 hours, generally 24 hours is better, then you'll take it out of the mold. Sometimes you'll need to break it apart a little bit on the edges, but then it'll pop out. And this is what you'll be left with. And notice this one I took out earlier and I took it out when it was still wet and notice that it didn't stay completely round. That's what can happen as it dries it, it'll go in. So keep your mold in. I would recommend 24 hours. Once you have your bowl, you're probably going to want to trim it like so. And just smooth it out. You can also use some sandpaper if you prefer on it, if you want a smoother texture. Another thing to, to consider, and this is something that I learned, is if you create this and you look at it and you think, this looks a little thin, I think maybe I really need more coats of newspaper. You can just go back and do that. Just get this back into your mold and, and just start the process again. It, that it won't hurt anything and it'll only make it stronger. Once you have trimmed and uh, sanded your bowl, it's time to paint it. I recommend painting it with um, a white paint to begin with, two coats if possible. You don't have to, but I think it gives you a nice uh, base then you can paint it uh, whatever you want. I found that metallics work really well uh, with this. You can also um, decorate it if you choose. But let's just paint this a bit. You can use a sponge brush or a regular paintbrush works. And to decorate, you can use a small brush. You're just going to want to cover it completely, two coats. And once you've done that, then it's time to decorate. You can decorate things 
like so. Or just a two-tone. And this is fun, your watermelon. This was created using a balloon, which gives you that really rounded look. But notice that it doesn't want to lay flat. So what you might need to do is to sand some of this off so that it, it will rest better. Also note that these edges here seem to me to be too thin. If I were to do this one again, I think I would add um, more layers of newspaper, do it over maybe several days and get a, a really good thick uh, layer set and then paint it. Once you have finished painting your bowl and decorating it however you see fit, you'll want to seal it to preserve it. For that, you can use Mod Podge or you can use a spray sealant and you can use it in a matte finish or a gloss finish, whatever you prefer. I hope you have enjoyed today's craft and we will see you next month. Happy crafting.